Well, a group of Ashland Middle School students tackle a controversial issue, school safety, as part of a statewide technology competition in Kentucky. They took first place, but as Eyewitness News reporter Gil McClanahan tells us, their school safety technology project is far from over. These days, school violence is unfortunately a fact of life with the challenge for educators to keep students and staff safe. These eighth grade students believe they have found an ideal way to do just that. But you turn it on, the rods engage, it sounds the alarm. It's called the school shield system. Within seconds of identifying a possible threat, the system enables teachers to lock down the entire school by using a device to barricade the door. So it's just going to be placed like right here so nobody can bust the window and reach down and deactivate it. We'll just drill some holes right there so it's easy to turn on and turn off. It's so simplistic that literally any anybody could use it, yeah. Teacher Mark Harmon says he was surprised the students wanted to tackle such a mature subject. Watching them from beginning to end and how seriously they've taken it the whole way and they've done their research and they're reaching out to community members and they've... It was very impressive. It was very something very to be proud of. I wanted to come up with something that I felt like really could be impactful, and I felt like this was a large issue that isn't really touched very often here. Eventually, the school shield system will be installed here at Ashland Middle School, but the hope is to get the system in as many schools as possible, but students aren't looking to make money from their project. Well, I don't feel like safety should be behind a paywall. Why? because I feel like it's not right to have to pay to feel safe. If education is free, your safety during your education should be free. Well, the students may not profit from their project. Knowing the impact they are having on school safety is payment enough. In Ashland, Kentucky, Gil McClanahan, Eyewitness News. And in soon, the students will travel to Philadelphia to present their project at the International Society for Technology and Education Conference. And we wish them all the luck.